Hi guys! My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of March reading for you all. March 16th through the 31st reading for Virgo. How are you all today? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I just want to let everybody know that my heart, my thoughts, my prayers go out to each and every one of you guys that are going through nonsense at this time. It just seems like there's so much going on right now. Please stay safe, you all. Stay safe. All right. Let's see what we got. Ace of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, Aces, Eights, and Hermit. <laughs> You're clarifying Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. And the tower. Don't panic. This is a good thing. You all look at these beautiful cards. You know, sometimes the tower comes in when there needs to be a change. And it looks like you guys are about to get one in a good way. Door to romance. And door to spirit. Perfect timing. If you believe. A beautiful card, right? Perfect timing. Give me just a minute, okay? You all, this is an absolute beautiful reading. It really is. You know, some people panic about the Tower card, and I say it's meant to be. You, sometimes when the Tower card comes in, it's one of those things that says, hey, guess what? This nonsense or whatever you're going through right now, or even how about a new um, epiphany on how you see things, on how you deal with things, on how you relate to things. And then all of a sudden this tower card comes in and shakes you up a little bit in a good way. I don't mean that like in a bad way. And then you're seeing things differently. Or new things start coming into your life, like these beautiful two new chapters that are coming into your life. Like messenger may be coming in to tell you something or some sort of news may be coming in and all of a sudden you see things in a different way. And because of that, it puts you on a different way, in a different, um, a different scale of thinking, a different tone, and in a better way than you could have ever imagined. So because of this tower card, I feel like you guys are either going to have an epiphany of some sort, 
like an aha moment or you're going to have some sort of a message, a messenger, information coming in, new opportunities coming in, and it could possibly be regarding a job or your career or even your business. So when I get the Eight of Pentacles, this is something that you guys are fantastic at. So I look at it as a job or a career or even um, something that you enjoy doing that you could possibly make money on. And then when I get the messenger right underneath it, some of you all are either waiting for um, information or for a new opportunity, or some of you all don't even know it's coming in and then it's going to be even better. <laughs> Especially if somebody just throws a job opportunity out there to you and you don't even, uh, didn't even apply for it or um, you didn't even know it was available and then all of a sudden they're coming to you maybe and saying, hey, what do you think about this? Maybe you would be good for with this. So if you guys are looking for a new job or to switch careers or to do something that you enjoy doing, now might be the time to do it. Now might be the time to apply for it. You know, I was saying earlier too about this epiphany, and then I also get this Ace of Swords. And with this Ace of Swords, you all, this is the truth coming out. This is a clarity moment. This is you all thinking about things in, in an intelligent, um, sophisticated way. You're throwing things in your around in your mind. You're trying to figure something out. And then this is a new chapter coming in for you all. So I almost feel like with this Tower card and this Ace of Swords, they go hand in hand. And it's a great feeling. This could put you on a better paying job, for instance, um, a better career move, uh, some sort of hobby that you enjoy doing turning into a business opportunity i have a feeling that you guys are about to hear something or get something or notice something that's really going to put you all in a better frame of mind in general so some of you all may be getting some sort of a an opportunity or a job or even a career change or, or career move that may put you um, over the top. You're gonna to be thrilled with it, I feel like. It's gonna be a, it could just be a promotion, not just be, I shouldn't have said it that way, but it could be a promotion of some sort, but it could be some of you all staying at home, doing something that you enjoy doing, like a hobby of some sort, that's gonna be able to, um, you're gonna start making money on it. Hold on just a minute. You know, I have this Ace of Wands here too. <laughs> I love this ace, you. I love them all, okay? But this particular ace can mean new homes, new jobs, new opportunities. You're getting more energy. You're, you're getting more passion about the things that you're doing. So with that in itself, I just feel like um, new things are coming. I mean, honestly, honestly. And then I have this perfect timing over here. Like everything is just going to and I usually don't like to say this, but I feel like something's going to fall in your lap a little bit. Um, but if you are, because I don't want people to think that you can just sit around and do nothing and then a job's going to fall in your lap. So I don't want you to take that the wrong way. But I do want you to realize that something may be meant to be for you. And it may be like a blessing coming in for you all. And this may just put you over the top in a really good way because I feel like that there's going to be something that's perfect timing and it may be this epiphany um, tower moment um, and it could be that job that you've been thinking about or looking into it could be a job that you don't even think that you qualify for but then as you're looking through the job section you find this uh, job that you're like, you know what, I would love to do that. And it may be something to that extent that you'll be fantastic at, even if you have, don't have experience with it. I hope that makes sense. Because sometimes you don't even think about certain jobs until you're going through them. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, I would love to do that. And you will be great at it if that's the case. It's something I feel like that you're going to enjoy, appreciate, and you have a passion for. And they say that if you 
love your job, you never work a day in your life, right? That's how I'm feeling. So that gets me excited for you all too. Now, some of you all may be hearing from someone um, long distance. So with this messenger, messages, news, information, um, opportunities that comes in for you all, this could be someone that you've known in the past that you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, maybe if you have um, people in the military, for instance, you may be hearing from them. Um, or if you know of someone that you went to school with or college with, you may be hearing from someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. It's a great feeling and it's a great um, overwhelming happiness that you guys are going to have. Let me just say too about this Knight of Pentacles. You know, a lot of times I see these as people. Some people do and some people don't during the readings, but a lot of times I do see them as it could be someone that you're dealing with, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. Um, so you may be dealing with this person. It could be a younger energy. It could be a child of yours or a sibling or someone that you work with, maybe a grand a grandson or granddaughter. Um, but I also can see this as possibly uh, what it stands for today. And what this particular night stands for is new jobs, new homes, um, all kinds of change or adventure or making some kind of a move that's really going to put you in a much better place. And then right underneath him I get the hermit. And right beside the hermit I get this door to spirit. Some of you all are um, you're going to be acknowledged or nudged or have information or get information that you don't know where it comes from. With this Hermit card, sometimes you need to... You might need to be by yourself for a few minutes or an hour or two or the day. And sometimes you just need to sit in silence and see where that takes you. And a lot of times if you'll if you'll go within and listen to your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, your inner spirit, it will lead you, these two cards will lead you to the path that you, that is meant for you. And with that, it's almost like that you know, you just know what you're supposed to do. Sometimes it's an instant idea that comes in your head. Sometimes it's an inner knowing that tells you, but you, I feel like you're about to gain this knowledge or this idea or this opportunity um, from your, from soul searching possibly. So I think that that may be important for a lot of you guys right now, maybe especially because of everything else that's going on right now. Um, and then I have this, if you believe up here, and I take that with trust and have faith and believe and just realize that something great is coming for you all. Now it could be this door to romance for heaven's sakes. I haven't even talked about that yet. You get this door to romance and you get this ten of cups over here, maybe even with an earth sign. But I'm feeling like some of you all may be getting into some sort of a romantic um, partnership or you may be speaking with someone like I was talking about, maybe someone you haven't spoken to in a while and then that starts blossoming or blooms into a new relationship. Um, because I do have this Ten of Cups here and this is a loving family, loving friends, happy family. Um, it's almost like you feel secure and you just feel like uh, love, you know. So I'm, I just feel like this is a Thanksgiving dinner or something when everybody gets together or family reunion and everybody just loves on each other and is just tickled to see each other. And then I have the Six of Swords. So don't forget that this Six of Swords could be you all moving somewhere different, could be you all going on a vacation, going to the water, going on a cruise. But it could also be you moving forward and getting into this 
loving uh, family and friends relationship that you're look, so looking forward to. You guys are really big on your family, on your friends. You're, you're extremely um, loving towards people, a lot of people, and especially people, some people you don't even know. But especially your immediate family and your friends and things like that. I almost feel like you may be getting, having a little get together or a little bit of um, speaking with someone that you are going to be thrilled about. I see this as a fantastic reading, you guys. And I am so excited to tell you that. So if you all are... Um, feeling blah maybe at the moment or you're waiting for something to come in or you feel like that there's more that's about to happen in your life hang in there for two seconds because it's about to happen it's all about perfect timing of course but here in a second and I feel like it's going to happen anytime now it could happen in the month of March it could happen in the first of, of April I feel like it's going to be more March but you know, it's going to be different for everyone. I feel like that with this tower moment, with this news or these messages coming in, it's going to give you clarity. And with that, it's going to open up a whole new um, world to a certain extent. It, it's a great feeling that I have. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange you all. Hold on. This is so good. This is so good. You guys deserve it. Um, I almost feel like you may be getting this message from an earth sign or this earth sign may be a romantic partner coming in that you haven't spoken to in quite some time. Or it could be a child or someone in your family. It's not always a, a romantic partner, but because you have this door to romance, it may be. You may be seeing a friend or family member you haven't seen or talked to in quite some time. That's why I think of the military. So I could see that. Okay, let me make sure they're straight because I get excited. Okay, here's the thing. With this Knight of Pentacles, this could be a person, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. You may be dealing with this person and they may be coming... Um, they may be sending you a message or calling you or doing something to this extent, especially if you haven't seen them in a while. Um, but they also could be a new romantic partner coming in your life, um, maybe someone from your past possibly. But I can also see him as what he stands for, which is possibly a new home, a new job, some sort of change coming in your life, some sort of adventure coming in your life, and that gets me excited. Because with this Eight of Wands, this could be a message, a messenger, information, news coming in that may just put a tower moment in place to where things are about to come out or someone's about to tell you something or some sort of information is going to give you an epiphany is how I feel about it. I do feel with this hermit and this door to spirit and this if you believe and have faith, um, if you'll acknowledge your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, your inner spirit, it will lead you or nudge you or listen to your inner light okay this will lead you down the path you're supposed to take for you and with that it's going to be a you just know kind of situation because here's the thing some of you guys may be thinking about a new job or doing something different or even going back to school and mastering something but some of you all may be good at something that you do at home, crafts or some sort of hobby or cooking or music or writing a book, whatever it is. And you guys have a talent, but you enjoy doing it. You may get some sort of opportunity that may come in that you guys may be able to sell something that you're doing on the side for fun. And with that, you're, you might be thrilled. Now, if you're looking for a job, you might find the perfect job for you. But remember, it's perfect timing. The job has got to come out in the newspaper or on the internet before you can grab it. But I just feel like, it, for some of you, it's a job or it's a new uh, income possibly coming in. But for some of you, this is 
totally different. It may not be a job at all. It is a new way of thinking, a new way of living, and a new way of seeing things. And with that, it's really going to put it's going to put you in a whole new um, way of thinking, which makes me feel like a whole new world to a certain extent. It gets me excited. If you can't tell. Um, and then I have this door to romance, and I have this ten of cups, and I feel like for some of you, along with these two aces, this ace of wands could mean goods, all of this stuff too, but. I just feel like some of you guys are going to be speaking with someone or getting into a relationship. It could possibly be with someone from your past, but it could possibly be someone brand spanking new. Um, either way it goes, I feel like that your family is going... You may be surrounded with your by your family at this time. So some of you guys may be get, having a get-together, or you may just be um, tickled with... Uh, your your home life and the way that you see things now. It's just a good feeling. This Ace of Swords, like I said earlier, is that clarity moment and that truthful moment and that aha moment of you guys figuring something out or hearing something that's really going to put you in a different frame of mind. This Ace of Wands can mean so many beautiful things, but it's something... Um, you have more energy, you have more passion, you have more uh, creativity possibly, you have something, um, this can mean new beginnings in any way that you can imagine. So this can go in a new direction as far as your family, as far as your relationship, as far as babies possibly coming in, new homes moving towards something, going on a vacation, maybe retirement. <laughs> it can go on and on and on. But in the meantime, this month and next month, I feel like are really going to be special for a lot of you guys in different ways. But I feel like you guys are going to be feeling like a new world in your, in your life to a certain extent, and it's really a good feeling. It's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic feeling. Moving forward, not looking back, some of you are going on vacation, and some of you are just trying something brand new. It's it's great. <laughs> yeah. I'm tickled for you. I really am. All right, Virgo, this is your second half of March reading, March 16th through the 31st reading for Virgo. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. This is awesome. And I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.